U.S. lawmakers are calling on government leaders to do uh, something about the debris from last year's tsunami in Japan that's floating across the Pacific. Tons of wreckage from the disaster are believed to be nearing the western coast of North America. The tsunami unleashed debris on an unprecedented scale. Some five million tons were swept out to sea. While most quickly sank, NOAA estimates one and a half million tons of tsunami-generated debris is still afloat and being driven by winds and currents toward the west coast of North America. Begich told a Senate co subcommittee hearing that large quantities of fishing nets and plastic items are already washing ashore in the state of Alaska and Washington. Lawmakers have expressed frustration at the federal government's failure to lay out a plan to retrieve and dispose of the wreckage. They cited complaints from residents of coastal communities. The lawmakers demanded the government provide information before debris washes ashore. Japan's government is also discussing what it can do to help clean up the debris. Deputy Chief Cabinet Secretary Tsuyoshi Saito told top ministry officials the issue will take on a greater urgency as more debris starts to reach the North American coast. Saito told them to forget about conventional ideas and come up with feasible measures after consulting with U.S. officials. How to clean up debris generated by last year's disaster has been a major headache for the NOTA administration. But that's not only in Japan. Millions of tons of debris are drifting across the Pacific Ocean, nearing the coast of North America. Government officials are discussing how to tackle the wreckage. The Environment Ministry officials estimate about 1.5 million tons of debris drifted out to sea following the tsunami that hit northeastern Japan. The rubble includes small fishing boats and waste from destroyed houses. Officials are worried the floating ships will pose a threat to navigation. They plan to identify the owners of the vessels by the names of the hull or registration numbers. They will then judge whether to dispose of or accept them by confirming the owner's intention. International law does not require Japan to recover drifting debris. However, the government intends to study possible payment for disposal of the debris. Large amounts of debris, including wreckage from houses, may reach the North American continent from around October.